Rubiaceae, commonly known as the matter family, are a clade of flowering plants consisting of 660 genera with more than 11,000 species of herbs, shrubs, and trees distributed primarily in tropical areas of the world. Some well-known examples of this group are the beloved coffee plant, harvested around the world for their seeds, which are used to make the caffeinated beverage named for this genus, and the dyer's matter plant, whose roots are used to create a vivid red vegetable dye used since ancient times. Pictured here are the coffee arabica species and the rubia tinctorum species. Despite their many unique uses and attributes, the many members of this vast and diverse family share some common traits by which they may be identified. These include a pattern of leaves opposite each other with unbroken leaf margins and leaf-like appendages at the base of the leaf stalks, known as stipules. This pattern of leaf arrangement is referred to as whorled. The leaves are typically large and evergreen in the tropical plant species, deciduous in the temperate species, and needle-like or scale-like in the desert species. The flowers of the matter family may appear as singles or as many small flowers clustered together. These blossoms are typically made up of four to five stamens arising from four to five united petals, and the corollas are generally tubular and regular in shape. The main distinguishing features of the family are the characteristic stipules and the inferior ovaries. Rubiaceae are classified as eudicots as demonstrated by their number of flower petals and their net-like array of leaf veins. This also means that their seeds must have two cotyledons and their stems contain vascular bundles arranged in ring patterns. This stained cross-section of a eudicot stem shows the bundles in a ring on the outer edges of the stem surrounding parenchyma cells in the pith region in the center. The Rubiaceae family is in the plantae kingdom of the domain Eukarya and is a flowering plant meaning that it is in the angiosperm phylum. More specifically, it is a member of the gentianales order. The life cycle of the matter family follows the general angiosperm life cycle seen here. This means they are sporophyte dominant with a diploid mature plant producing haploid gametophytes via meiosis in the anthers and ovules. Once pollination occurs, the sperm fertilizes the egg, and a diploid zygote is produced. This zygote will undergo mitosis as it develops into a seed, germinates, and grows into a young seedling plant. The life cycle of the coffee plant is outlined here as an example of a life cycle specific to the Rubiaceae family. Here we see the various stages of seed formation and processing, from the flower in which the gametes originate, to the fruit which encases the seed, to the seed which itself may be fermented, dried, roasted, and ground to make the drink we know as coffee. This shows the flowers as they occur in clusters on the plant. Inside, the ovule contains the egg which awaits fertilization by the sperm contained in the anthers. While some types of coffee plants can be self-pollinating, cross-pollination of the blossoms is more typical and is primarily accomplished by insects such as bees, which carry the anther's pollen from one blossom to the next as they collect nectar. Once fertilized, the zygote will develop into a seed encapsulated by a fleshy fruit, which will turn a bright, deep red when it is ripe and ready to be harvested. There is typically one major harvest a year. The fruit of the coffee plant, often referred to as the cherry, is made up of two major parts, the pulp and the bean. These coffee cherries most commonly contain two stones or beans with their flat sides facing one another, but a small percentage of cherries known as pea berries will only contain one seed. If the seed is not processed to be made into lattes and espressos, it may be planted in a rich soil where it will germinate and sprout, growing into a young coffee plant.